so what is this question if a and it is important question okay so if a and b are square matrices of order n so it means that uh, a and b are of size n by n square matrix means uh, rows and columns are equal and they have already given that order is n which means number of rows and number of columns both are n and now then prove that a and b will commute so what does that mean a and b will commute means a b equal to b a that is what we have to prove then prove that a and b will commute if and only if so it is not just given as if it is if and only if so whenever if and only if is given we have to prove both the statement and the converse of it right so which means if a and b are commute right then we have to prove that a minus lambda i and b minus lambda i they commute for every scalar that is one step and the second step is if these two commute <coughs> which means in the first step we have to assume that this is true a and b will commute and based on that fact we have to prove that this will commute these two will commute in the second step assuming that these two will commute we have to prove that these will commute right so we have to we have to prove both the statement as well as the converse right so now just see uh, let's try to uh, go in steps right first step is I want to uh, prove this statement it is given as if and only if right so I want to see if a and b commute then I want to see that a minus lambda i and b minus lambda i they commute right so I am assuming that a and b commute which means a b equal to b a if this is true then I want to prove that a minus lambda i and b minus lambda i commute so what does that mean it means that I have to start with a minus lambda i into b minus lambda i right and i'll find it out what do we get here a into b right minus a into lambda into i isn't it minus b into lambda into i into b right plus lambda square into i right so i into i is i square anyway it is going to be i so now we know that a into i is i and lambda into a is lambda into a that's it right a into b minus lambda i lambda a lambda a minus lambda b plus lambda square i so this is what i got now I I'll, I have to find out this one and I have to see what if the what if I multiply with b into lambda b minus lambda into a minus lambda i which means b minus lambda i when it is multiplied with a minus lambda i what do I get b a right minus I am directly writing it lambda into b which means you know this i into b b into i is going to be b itself that is why I am just writing this and again here also i am just writing directly i into a is nothing but a so minus lambda a plus lambda square i i square is nothing but lambda square i right now uh, this is what i got for this right this is what this is the result i got for this one and this is the result i got for this one already we know that a b equal to b a right and now if i substitute in place of b a if i substitute a b then I get AB minus the same thing. I am just substituting it, right? Then it is nothing but result of this one, right? So result of this one. So which is nothing but A minus lambda I into B minus lambda I. I hope that you are getting it. See, so I have finally got by using this one, right? This multiplication, I got a result which I got from this multiplication. Therefore, both of them are equal. So this one and this one, they turned out to be equal. Then what can we say? They both commute. Therefore, these two are commuting whenever A and B are commuting. That is step number one. And the step number two is we have to find out the, we have to prove the converse also. The reason is here it is given as if and only. That is why we have to prove the converse too, right? So the it is going to be like this. See, in gate, we are not going to get this proof, but then if you can remember the result, they might ask the result sometimes. So, if this is true, um, what does it mean? Where is it? Yeah. B minus lambda i 
into a minus lambda i which means i am assuming that if these two commute then i am trying to see what is the uh, relationship between a and b right if this is true then we can directly write like this the result of this is going to be a b minus lambda a minus lambda b right plus lambda square i and the result of this one is b a minus lambda a minus lambda b plus lambda square i now if you cancel out everything which are which is common there then i am going to get a b equal to b a of course right then what can we say if these two are commuting right if these two matrices are commuting then the matrices a and b are commuting therefore we had we have we have proven it both the sides right which means we have taken this fact that these two are commuting and then we have shown that these two are commuting and then we have taken these two are commuting and shown that these two are commuting right therefore we have we have uh, we have proved it uh, no both the sides right